race time in Tonsberg at the 2017 UIM Formula 2 Grand Prix of Norway. But still it wasn't sure whom of the 24 pilots would enter the Grand Prix. Only four of the 12 boats who didn't make it into Q2 on Saturday would get a spot on the starting grid of the actual Grand Prix. So it was all up to the qualifying race on Sunday morning. And that meant big trouble for Matt Palferman, who lost his best prop in Q1. So he will enter the quali race from the last spot. The situation was even worse for local hero Frode Sundstahl, who struggled with engine problems and couldn't even go into the quali race, so the Norwegian was already out of the F2 Grand Prix. But who managed to get his boat back on track was Johan Oesterberg after he flipped in Saturday's free practice. So now, 11 boats started into the qualifying race and at Garas Ryabko starting on pole went straight into the lead. But the focus was on the battle for fourth position between Owen Jelf and Mette Bjergnes. Because at this moment Jelf was on the final spot to be qualified for the Grand Prix. Matt Palferman obviously struggled and couldn't pick up the pace. The British pilot only on 11th position and shortly after he pulled out of the race. So Palferman also not qualified. But still, Mette Bjergnes tried to close the gap to Owen Jelf and pushed as hard as possible. But in the end she didn't make it. So with Edgaras Ryabko winning the qualifying race, Ryabko, Delpin, Comparato and Jelf were the final four pilots to enter the Grand Prix of Norway later that day. Now there were 16 boats ready for the start of the third round of the Formula 2 championship. With Tobias Mintekas on pole position for the first time in his Formula 2 career. World champion Pierre London on second and championship leader Rashid Al Kamsi on third. There couldn't be any better lineup for a quite interesting race. The lights are on and we are on board with Edgaras Ryabko, the winner of the qualifying race. The start and it gets pretty tight out there. And out front, Eric Edin, who started from fourth and it looked like he had jumped the start. So Aiden first, Akamzi moved into second and London right behind and the first lap without any incidents. But there are problems for Nick Bisterfeld who spins out in turn 3. And also problems for the pole setter Tobias Mintekas, the only Norwegian pilot in this race dropped back to 7th spot. And now it became official, Eric Edin got one lap penalty for his jump start, so boat 21 wouldn't play any role for the podium positions in this race. Now it was Abu Dhabi pilot Rashid Akemzi leading the Grand Prix, chased by Pierre London, Rup Temper and Ola Pettersen. And this race is very close, Akemzi cannot pull away from London. And also Tobias Mintekas on 7th position tried to catch Ola Pettersen for 6th spot. But then yellow came out, big trouble for Rube Temper. The Austrian flipped on the back straight and is out of the Grand Prix. So Neusta pilot Konstantin Ustinov who started 8th all of a sudden is on 3rd position right behind Pierre London. Rup Temper meanwhile on his way back to the pits and OK. The restart and London tries a move on the leader Rashid Al Kamsi. London on the inside but from the outside comes Konstantin Ustinov. The Russian now inside for the next turn. London Ustinov side by side and Ustinov slips through in the turn. But London fights back out of turn one and London back on second spot. Now it's London again focusing on leader Al Kamsi. The Swedish pilot closes the gap. Out of turn 4 they are almost side by side but Al Kamsi can stay in front. What a race this is right now and it's not even... <laughs> halfway through. 
London determined to get the first position and also Ustinov on third, just split seconds behind. Ustinov now building up the pressure on London and the world champion with problems out of the turn and there Ustinov comes, moves up to second spot. Now Rashida Kamsi in the lead, Konstantin Ustinov second and Pierre London on third. Still, Pierre London didn't give it up yet. The Swede closes the gap again to Ustinov on the back straight. London has more top speed, but no chance on the inside there. London has to back off. This is close racing there. And then yellow was up again. And this time it's Tobias Mintekas out of the race. The pole setter rolled over in turn three. The boats lining up for the restart. Tobias Mintekas already out of the boat on his way back to the pits. Now all eyes were on the top three boats Alkamzi, London, Ustinov. And there they go, green flag and Alkamzi didn't get the start well. Ustinov on the inside, London on the outside. All three side by side now. Three wide they come out of the turn. Who will get into the lead? It's Konstantin Ustinov in the lead now. And also London slips through. So Alkamzi only on third spot now. But still, all three of them just within split seconds. What a fantastic race this Grand Prix is. And it was still not over. Now it's Pierre London again trying to get in front of Ustinov. And this is for the lead of the Grand Prix. London tries again, side by side into the right-hander. Ustinov still in front, London inside, but Ustinov closing the door and still first Konstantin Ustinov, second Pierre London, third Rashid Alkamzi. It's the first time that new star pilot Konstantin Ustinov leads a Grand Prix, but London tries everything he has to get this win in Tonsberg. Rashid Akamzi drops back. The Abu Dhabi pilot tries to save these important championship points to remain championship leader. But London didn't leave any time to breathe for Konstantin Ustinov, pushing as hard as possible to force the Russian pilot into a mistake to get the lead. Then we're going into the penultimate lap. Ustinov going into turn three. London right behind him. They are on the back straight and Ustinov catches some air. He has to back off and London is right there taking the chance. He makes a move and this is the change in the lead of the Grand Prix in the penultimate lap. Pierre London, winner in 2015 and 2016 now again about to win in Tunsberg. Pierre London crosses the line and wins the Grand Prix of Norway. No, I, I'm really happy and I'm really tired <laughs> because the, this race was the toughest so far. No, it was tight, more tighter than I expected, absolutely. Second in this race comes Konstantin Ustinov and third Rashid Akemzi, who still leads the championship by 12 points. My window, it was full of water. I can't see nothing. The two boats passed me and after I cannot uh, get them because uh, they were, I was close to them and uh, the, uh, the splash for the water it was on my, uh, my window. So uh, I put another strategy in my head. I say uh, I'll keep uh, on the third to collect the point because uh, they don't have any point, zero points. What an outstanding race this was in Tansberg. After his win here in Norway, we may see more of Pierre London in this season. But anyway, the World Championship still is wide open. So don't miss the next race and follow us on Facebook, YouTube and F2WorldChamp.com.
Wow, 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 wow.